we are on today, we are at Arena Lake, and we're going to do very much the in thing at the minute, or the in thing for me. In that everywhere I go, be it Bonehill, Woodlands, Hayfield a bit, this time of year, bomb is definitely a massive, massive method that, it's just the way that they're eating. You know I mean, the way carp feed at so many venues at this time of year, the bomb is just such a positive and such an efficient way of catching fish because they want to eat loads of bait. And that's exactly what I'm going to go through today is a very a positive way of bomb fishing, not just pinging out a couple of eight mils sitting there being patient. We're going to go with very, very aggressive, draw lots of fish in your peg, almost pole lineage. Do you know what I mean? Anywhere between sort of 14 and 20 meters, somewhere I can feed six, four, six, yeah, fours or six mil pellets accurately and very, very aggressively, which have become, I mean, it's a very, very popular way at so many venues now that making loads of noise, feeding loads of bait, drawing lots of fish into your peg, a bomb or a method, but we're going to focus on bomb today, is the only way of catching them over that amount of bait. Because you can put a pole rig over there, it looks brilliant, it goes under lots, but you find that most of the hot carp that you hook are hooked in the back end, which isn't ideal. So a bomb, it's going to fix that as much as possible. It just allows me to be really, really aggressive, feed loads of bait, take all the fish off people because I'm making so much noise with them. Not the taking them off me feeding. though, Jay, are you, mate? I'd definitely easy don't take, them take off you. not a chance with <laughs> but, the feeding, mate. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what I want to get at. So today, yeah, bomb fishing with a little bit of a difference. So, we, of course, we're going to do the, the rig of the month to accompany it or the, the technical rig side to accompany it as well because that's been a big thing for me, incorporating as much possible carp fishing, specimen fishing mentality into your bomb fishing. I mean, we've talked about it for years. That is definitely where match anglers lack the most is that our rigs, the crap, aren't they? Pretty much. In most cases, just having a plain boring, a running bomb with a normal hook length with a normal hook. Yeah, it catches a few fish, but ultimately, because there's about three billion out there and they're all sucking it, eating it, and eventually a big stupid one like me or Andy comes along, eats it, swims off it and hooks itself but it's definitely 10 of its mates about it before that one has. So that's what we want to get away from. Yeah, get away from them, picking my hook bait up and getting away with it. So that's ultimately what we've got to do with bomb fishing, becoming more efficient, making sure more of them bites or more indications turn into bites. That's what it's going to be all about today. So without further ado, what are we going to start with straight away? We're going to talk about feeding. We're going to get into some feeding, get a load of fish there, and catch a few fish on a ball, Andrew. Yes, please. Let's have a bit of that. So. Talk us through it, mate. Come on. Feeding wise. And we're going to go nice and sensible. We're going to go nice and short. No, large portions, mate. Come and we're going to feed a lot, but I mean, we're, we're not going to push it. So what, what's going yeah. to be, what's going to dictate whether you feed fours or sixes? Is it going to be wind or you think you need to get a bit further out? Exactly or? that. Yeah, normally wind for me. I'd rather feed fours or size of fish as well. If I'm catching proper big portions, not as many of them, sixes. Right, okay. Yeah, if we're but catching... But there's an odd F1 around and... Yeah, if there's a few F1s, three to four pound carp, lots of little mouths in the peg. Yeah. Then we might feed fours. So if I just like pop my microphone off, let me just fix it while like we're that. doing it. I normally do that. Normally do that. I think I'm all right. So, sixes. I'd say what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to push it. Yeah, so before I've gone on it, I can't just feed it and then fish it. This is a line that because I'm going to be aggressive on it, I want to like build the peg up. I want to feed it really, really regularly. Oh, so you're it first, then. Yeah, right, I, I okay. probably would want to feed it. I want to do other things before I go on this. So you might be starting off on like a short pole Who or knows? something, or method Who to knows? the island. Right, okay, yeah, okay. I today I probably would. I'd probably start on method yeah, boy. through my line. So you know when they've rocked so up. So we see what's yes. going on when we've got yeah. a lot of indications. But what I want to do, I've got a lovely marker on far, oh, not on far bank. I've got a lovely reflection of that big tree over there. Nice. So I've got me dark water, which I like a dark water. Oh, go ahead. Because you see the bubbles. Always oh, thinking you, yeah. isn't you? If you've got white right, water, okay. if you feed it in white water, do it. Obviously, if you haven't got an option, you've got to do it. Yeah. But if I can feed in dark water, I can see when the fizzing. And that's what yeah, I, I want like to that. see. I want to see big fizzing. So in this case, I've got what, 20 pellets in there in the catty. And I'm going to group them as nicely as I possibly can. It's a bit too much for spread, but I'm happy. Two lots of 20. Yeah, big Aldeia in oh, my peg. Yeah. And then no messing about. Like I said, we, we've had a little chat about rigs already, but I'm going in now with the heavy bomb. So I've got a great big, in this case, I've got 17 and a half gram, proper big, self fucky, no messing about. My twizzled duck lamp that we're on about and a great big gaff on that's not gonna mess about, a big size 12. And to start with, I'm gonna put an eight mil pellet on. Which again, just stands out slightly, which is something I'm gonna talk about a yeah, lot. Like it's the standout bait, but say plain boring, eight mil pellet in a band, that's gonna be my mark. And I've been a bit slow there, so I'm gonna feed again. Just so you're looking to feed and then cast in 
Just Pulled so I've got my mark when I'm chucking. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I've got my reflection. Like that. That was bloody horrendous. But I've got my reflection, but I still want to chuck, and I'm going to chuck just past it as well, and yeah. then draw my bomb into it. Perfect. And drop him down. Are you today, feeling though that's allowing you, obviously you hook them to straighten out as well, do you, when you're bringing it back a little bit? A little bit, but if anything, it just lands nicer. Yeah, it depends yeah. on the depth. In fact, I've been doing that a lot at the venues I've been going. Bone Hill comes to mind. Yeah. In the, I chuck past it and draw it into it. You see that little gazer there? Little you get him in, Go ahead, go ahead, do it. Um, if I've got a, a, a little depth, say two and a half, three foot. Yeah. I think a big old bomb, a, a 20, 30 gram bomb, sinks very 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 quickly in that right and if you hit your clip with it it's very hard to to put it on the floor nice because it happens so fast ah right okay whereas chucking past and pulling it i think i can get it to land a little bit nicer get yeah yeah it's not plugging into that silt as much because where we're doing this like today it's middle of the middle of the lake yeah on here very in silty. particular on arena that's yeah. a silty bit in it yeah definitely that is the, the siltiest Proper. part i'm gonna feed them but i don't want to do that just by chucking past and drawing me bomb towards me so I've got a big heavy bomb. I've got a really heavy yeah, bomb yeah, yeah. to um, accentuate the bolt effect. Heavy the bomb. So when that fish picks themselves. it up, shakes its head, that's it, it's hooked in it. It's on. Yes, yeah, depending like on that. the length of my hook length and all of that. So we've had a sneaky play and I won't go into it yet, but I'm not liking my hook length. I think it's too long, but we'll fix that in a minute while we're fishing. Right, okay. Yeah, I believe that I've had a few indications when we've had a little go. So you talk about this a lot, you, or you have done before, and you're proper dumb head in Jay, where you're on about the carp coming into your peg. <laughs> Yeah. Sucking a bit in, spitting out, and All you're not seeing anything. Happens. I mean, we've seen it on them underwater videos, haven't we? Like, um, yes. you know what I mean? That's See, like it. that. Not... Yes. I don't think Richard's on, on that then. like that, aren't he? they? Just, yeah. though he was on that, we had like a little, we can't see a bow wave or nothing, but that were a bite. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I Definitely. think that were a bite. You, you can tell the difference, like that one's not. It's a liner, yeah. They're little slow liners that are going to happen because I'm spreading my fish over such a big area. Yeah. Yeah, me feeding, for whatever reason, is horrendous today. No, yeah, being... I'm not having it, mate. You're not seeing mine feeding, yeah? Yeah, but mine's bad. Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> mine's going everywhere. It's a bit messy today. But anyway, it's a big idea. You're going to get lines. It's going to happen. But what I don't want is, like, what I had previously, that pluck. Yes. And what it is, it's just too much up length. It's up, it get, when it gets up there as well. Yeah. You, know what I mean? you think it... that's what it is? Just a case of having that. It's too supple. Without a doubt. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's supple because of the up length we've got on. Oh, heavy Utland. It is a big heavy, so we've got that twist. What have you bit. got on? I've not even asked you. I've what? got 020 fluorocarbon. Oh, wow. So, okay. Big old, Good. heavy, stiff up length that stays taut but not tight. Yes. That does help prick them as quickly as possible. But I've got a big one on at the minute. I've got a 12 inch. Yeah. Which is probably just a bit too long. It's given them the chance, there's a bit, bit of flexibility that they're not feeding well today. They're being a bit moody. Yeah. And it's a bit too much flexibility to allow them to, they can get rid of it if they want. So I'm going to have two casts on this, Yeah. let it happen. I mean, if I feel I get done again, hopefully. How are I'd... you with the casts as well, Jay, coming to the cast? Are you leaving it? Are you going to watch like every four or five minutes yeah. or something? Or if you're Depends not getting liners, you come back and... Yeah, I, I want to see the liners first thing. Bubbles are a lovely thing as well, like I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I he love seeing the fizz in. If the fizzing stops, there's no fish there. Yeah. Also the same, obviously, your liners. If they're happening, there's still fish there. There's no real need to feed again. Mm. As long as I've, I've been accurate, I almost want them to eat that bait. Yeah, I mean, I've just fed. You come along, find your standout bait and everything. Yeah, I've just fed 50 pellets. Let them eat them. Yeah. Yeah, if I pick my cattle up and feed another 50 now, all of a sudden there's 100. Boom! Quick mess! Yes, I want to be aggressive and I want to feed loads of bait and get loads of fish in the peg, but time and a place for it. If the mm. fish are already there, what's the point of rafting? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, if I feel there's enough, oh, see oh. that. Yes. I reckon that's been done again. Don't know, as you, as you said, a line is a. It's slow, different, aren't slow, methodical, aren't they? There. I can never done again. I'm going to give it one more cast. I'm going to draw it in just so I can feed again. Yeah. Because I can easily feed again now because I've got a, a bit of a marker, but I'd rather be really accurate. I'd rather come in, feed twice, chuck over the top of it. Yeah. Just so I'm feeding loads of bait. So I'm going to do that now. It's been in long enough. So it leaves me peg nice and clean. It's not sticking because I'm cushioning it down onto the yes. bottom. I'm not just letting it sink of its own accord. And you can feel it. Check that pellet. I'm going to change that pellet because that's gone a bit snotty. So again, there's no real limits to it, is there, with the hook, with the regards to the hook bait and that? Just keep swapping and changing. I, I definitely, I, we've talked about it a lot, haven't we, with hook lengths, mm. in that I'm a big fan of my expanders. Yes. All it comes down to, though, is a bait that stands out. Yeah, for me, it's no good feeding. There's no way I could feed this volume of six mils and put a six mil on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't got you one. No. So you, you might, but needle and haystack, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the point doing that? Right, twice. One. Let's keep it on where they go. 
to. Oh, I'm swearing for that. Let's them. get shallow I think we need shallow rig on today. <laughs> get pop up on, J lad. Four while foot. That's there, get that in nice. So just passed it, throw yeah, it in. It's right over the car, that one. Beautiful. Isn't it? <laughs> the proper. I don't think there's hardly any fake getting to the bottom even. But anyway, so I'm happy that's right over the top of me. Me stuff. So this this stays in now. So if you get them fast plucks again, it's going to be because you you reckon up lengths. Oh, I already yeah, think yeah. it is. I'm only leaving it on for demonstrative yes. purposes. Like that. Yeah, I'm already hating it. So what I'm going to do? I've got one ready here to go. Lock it in, ready to go. Half the length. I wasn't watching. Ended up doing again then. Oh mate, I was looking at you. Are you looking at the up length as well. I'll go ahead, Jay. See, fishing peg, but not. Yeah. So that's a liner when it pings yeah. off something. But that's my next protocol. Yeah. Like that, mate. Like that. See that then? Yeah. That's been on. Convinced that's been on. And it's just been able to shake it off, knock it off, because shake my up it's too long. Shake it off. It's on there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm convinced. Take that mate. again. Definitely. The, the, do you know what I mean? They might not, some of them might not be, but some of them are. I always look as well, when I get that and nothing's on, I always look up, look up there. you see a bow waving at it, don't yeah. you? Yeah, if there's a bow wave, then it is always, always oh, is it bow? in the mouth. Is it not bow? Bow, bow. What is it? Rich, bow, bong. bong. What is it? Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong. <laughs> what was that? Oh, is that a pepper pig? Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, 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 Yeah, we got one. But we got away with it. Yeah, is he in the mouth? Yeah, he's in the mouth. So I'm happy. Yeah. But could have been better. But, yeah. yeah. Like, at least be two, possibly three before yeah. that. I should have had one ages ago, shouldn't I? Could have been the same one teasing you, Jay. Like, whew. yes. They tried it again. They're like, I'm coming back for another one. Oh no! This, this is a stupid greedy one. Alan, thing. I've just been up. I'll yeah. see you in a bit. You and me get caught Didn't on knuckle like this. Oh mate, we'd we'll be in We're straight. Knackered. We get caught on a free footer. Yes, you mean. definitely. <laughs> definitely. Three All the slackness in the world. We're still getting up. Oh, you wouldn't want to spit it back out, would we, mate? You no. know what I mean? Be like, Food. We'd be the stupid one that et in a keep net, wouldn't we? <laughs> I'd you know be that I mean? fish that... We'd be the one that... You're in it sucking in your net and you think, you <laughs> stupid fish. Feed me. That'd be us. Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to the bottom of the net. I'm sitting here for when he drops his pellet in. The sexy... So how about, like... Today. Here's one for you then, Jay. How about, like, match conditions now where, you know, there's a few other people doing it or they might be feeding shallow and you're playing... playing a fish for a bit. W would you be tempted to feed while no, you're playing a fish? No, never, ever. Don't do it, do you? Not for on a bomb. Never, ever, ever, mm. ever. It's a point. I want them on the bottom. The more I ping and ping and ping, I know. they're bad enough already, they're already having to go for it. No need, set your trap when you're ready. Yes. Yeah, land your fish, set your trap. Let's land yeah, this one right first. Then. They're fighting like mad they're angry, ridiculous, aren't they? mate. They're so angry at the minute. They proper are in here, aren't they? Yeah. They weren't like a month ago, they were lovely and be I'm saying that, they were a bit. Let me get this carapy in. We'll see where he's hooked as well. That'll be quite interesting to see if he's a bottom lipper, which I don't think he is with how hard he's fighting. Beautiful. Go on the commons. He's a little diddy one as well. Go on the commons. So he's not, he's side of the mouth. Yes. So he's like, he's Look gonna, at the size of him. I thought that was going to be like six pound. Is that when they give it one of them to try and reject it? Eject it? Like out one of them and he's just up to himself? Yeah, I think Isn't so. It? But he was side of the mouth, so he was nice. But little diddy fish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bite my hook length off. You're not, but I'll have that, mate. Don't bite it off. <laughs> waste of hook length, Jay. Bite hook length off because I'm not liking it. Oh, mate. He has an all. You want to quit? Are you one of them quick changey bingy whatever thing you no, want? Normally I just set up two. Oh, I'd set up a, a, two up lens. A, a rod with 12 and a rod with 6 inch. I'll do it and change rods. I'll just swap my rods because I think it changes throughout the day as well. In that when there's not many fish in your peg and they're not over your bait. Ah, oh, right, you need to be a bit a longer bit one can be better. A longer one, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to swap to a 6 inch. Get on your bugger. So exactly the same up length. And you can see now visibly that. You know, the, the fish... Are they that fizzing? That's, no, they're not, that's what I mean. They're Has it gone flat and there's it. nothing? Yeah, there's Whereas nothing. every time you're fed... Yeah, they're cleaning me out quick, aren't they? Yes, which is good, mate, that's what we want. Good, it means they're eating. So, Andrew, new I hook length has been I, acquired. I literally wouldn't even dream of using that that short, Jay. Wouldn't you? You're going to do me heading now, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, that, that's what, six inch, but half yeah. of it's swizzled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you've only, yeah, half it's swizzled, which makes a bit of a boom effect, although yeah. it's not swizzled as sexy as I'd like it. Yeah. But it's just, yeah, let's see if it fixes it. Let's see if it fixes it. So it's not too silty out there. It's quite silty, but not stupidly silty. Yeah. The so same again, two lots of whatever. One. Where did that go? Go on a car. You know what I should have really done is put my glasses on. Mate, it's horrible, isn't it? Mm. That wind as well. Ba Doing. So just passed. Same again, pull it, pull it in. 
Lovely. You ain't Jay, lad. Just into the bubbles that I think are there. I mean, I've never, I don't think I've ever fished shorter than like an 18 inch up length on the ledger bomb. Serious? Yeah, man, because I'll, I'll always do my up lengths up to 12 inch, but then as I say, I'll have like six or eight inches of special line. So you have a lot of slack Is that why, that's why I don't catch out, isn't it, Jay? Yeah, a little bit. Always learning, folks. Always Fixing learning. It, Every day is a school day. Look I'll say not there. feeding over the top either, though. Not until I feel like I need to. Yeah. Yeah, so these I don't mind. Yeah. Oh, oh that maybe I did. Don't know if I like that. I didn't see anything go though, it was there's calm lot, then. I know, there was a lot of fish there, wasn't there? Let me just give that benefit of the doubt. Just tighten up a little bit. That's another thing as well, don't be shy, I'm proper tightening up. I've got a big owl lead on, right, anything okay. that helps the bolt. Yeah. I'm not bothered about it. Do you know what I mean? Then, when they're like this, they're not fussed, not like winter when they're fussed about um, feeling your line and things like that. This time of year, they're not asked. No. They're, they're grubbing, they're on my bait, proper, In proper grubbing. Yeah. yeah, I like that. See, I'm happy at the minute that these are all liners. Go on, think? fishies. There's a lot of fishies here, isn't it? I might cast a little Look bit shorter. Them all. They're proper, them all. proper on my bait, aren't they? Look at oh, them all. There's a lot of fish one. out there, isn't they? I think shallow would be an option, though. I reckon you catch one or two shallow. One or two, maybe. In the yeah. shallow, shallow. There's not much fizzing, proper is there? Film. Like, really, not much fizzing. You reckon they've nailed all that bait already? Yeah, I, I think I'd, I'd need to be more aggressive with bait because there's not many fish. It's noticeable on the when you do feed the straight on it and it fizzes and then within two or three minutes, I think they mopped it all up. Yeah, they, they want to be up, don't they? It's like they're going down, eating. And they're hovering over that area as well, Jay. Yeah. Is that a thing, fish to hover? Yeah, hover, like a helicopter, carpocopter. Like that. Carpocopter. Yeah. Yeah, see, now yeah. it's gone flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It almost makes you want to feed again. I'm not going to. You're not? No, because I've set me trap, it's done. But maybe with so many fish shallow, there's not that many fish going, going to the, the bottom. bottom. Mm. The way they're feeding, there could be nailing. I'm gonna give it a minute, see there. that's oh, going oh, again, but oh. that's just a, on the back of one that's... Now then. Do you know what I mean? That's just a fat one that's caught up with it here, yeah, back. I don't mind that, it might be a little bit closer. So you could do that, if you're getting loads of liners, depending on the bottom, Yeah. you can pull it a bit. I mean, you can move it. What, give it a drag? Yeah, definitely. If oh, I was okay. happy enough that it was hard enough. If it was really, really soft, I wouldn't. But I mean, if it was hard enough, I'd be happy dragging it. If I was getting proper liner to death, yeah. it's not an issue. You stay at Boddington's a lot, because it's nice and hard at Boddington's. I might try that in a second, but it's not a lot. So because of that, I'm going to up my feed. You I'm want to feed twice lad. over the top. This is what we want, mate. Get it in. Just to see what they do. So Get I don't like in. feeding over the top of it. But I feel that nothing's on the bottom, so I need to. Force them down. Yeah, just yeah, boy. get some bait. And I'm happy that that's fairly over the same place. Look at him, straight on it. Look, so, this all's on about developing the peg. Yeah, we, yeah, we've yeah, proper yeah. jumped on it today. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. You need I need to that volume it. of bait. Obviously, we'd be picking them off one of Chuck Shallow now. It's almost, I was going to say, it's almost like when you're trying to prime it for, for shallow or something, isn't it? You're yes. starting off a, away from it and then wait for him to get there. Yeah, definitely. And so they've just started fishing on it now, Jay. Have they? Yeah, yeah. man. See him? Yeah, look, how quick's that? Bit more bait just to put them down on the bottom. Go on. Oof. Look at them. I'm happy with that. That's not touching me, lad, though. That was just a. Touching you what? That one's that. Oh, jeez. See, proper. Yeah, That's not a proper bite. About. That was a. Uh, uh, it's on. Uh. But it's noticeable then how, how quick they went down on it, wasn't it, as well? Yeah, they want some bait, don't need to put them down. I'm going to feed a lot heavier next time. No, we're going to feed two lots of 30. That's what we do, isn't it? Jay, stick with the fishing lark. You'll make it one day. Do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon you'll do all right. I do like a bit of game. ping pong now. I might be a ping pong special. Have you got a sweaty popper dom on? Sweaty, sweaty cat. <laughs> I love that saying. Yes. <laughs> from this day forward. All skimmers from the are sweaty popper doms. So Mate, this that one's was, up. That was so interesting, that. That was just in splash wallop. How oh, much better? Let's get rid of that lead. I know he's, he's inside. Same as the last one, but. Give it another one, isn't it? Well, I couldn't get that. away from you, yeah, got rid of him. But just felt better. Yeah, Mum. Yeah, and if anything, the bike comes a bit quicker. Yeah. Well, you didn't get any of that before it. Like, we had, what did we have? Three or four in the long run, then? Yeah, that was just it, like, was on. it was on. You want to get oh, rid of that? See, I wouldn't dream of, like, winding dead tight to it either. Mate, you do me head in. It's just hooking themselves. Just... I want, like, dead slack so I can see all the lines and that, see when there's fish in my peg. Yeah, we'll go on to that a bit. In fact, no, let's do that a bit now as well. What you doing I think that's important, silicon. I used to think silicon was a... Just a Can't silly be. thing. Putting on the hook, you mean? I didn't realise oh, okay. why it, it was so important, but now, by the time my hair's a little bit longer, once I put it on, 
I mean, it sits straight at first, but once I put it on, I slide that silicone right round. Yeah, to create that, that angle of hook that's very, very aggressive, just so it's going into the fish better. Does not make a difference. Just sliding that silicone all the way round, mm. so it's in line with the bottom of my hook. Yeah, definitely feel a hook more because of that rather yeah, than having it straight. you told me that a year or two ago. Well, thank you for that, Jamie. Yeah, thank you for that, mate. It definitely makes a difference. That's, it's Richard actually gets the, be the, oh, the credit for most of this. Thank you, Richard. Oh, carp catch him. Well, he goes camping a bit. Oh, he only catches sweaty poppadoms now, don't you, mate? Sweaty poppadom specialist. <laughs> he only catches right, skimmers three, now. I'm really going to give him some. Go ahead. It's nice now, it's gone flat so I can see when I'm casting now as well. I'm oh. just going to just pass it. It could be swirling, man. So you draw it into it again. Doof. Yes. I've come a bit more into it that time just because of how many lambs we're getting. So I off the back of it's normally best. Yeah. But if there's carnage over my bait and they really are feeding, then why not chuck in the middle of it? I love it, mate. Yeah, that's proper. So that. Proper tighten up, yeah. No fanning about. Yeah, all the way around, it's yeah. Hard, isn't it? Is that how you'd normally fish with a ledger bomb now, or yeah. just for this? For when it's good in summer, yeah. Just get them tuck themselves. Yeah, you read it more. If you have it slack and all delicate, it's right in the winter when you, you're after one or two bites, then it's different. Because I don't believe in the winter they're sucking the spitting anyway. They just come in and nail it. And yeah, because in the winter you're them. normally not feeding as well. You're normally just chucking and leaving and you get a bite. There's that much bait there now. They're just sucking the spit and everything. It'll just be carnage over there. Yeah. Ooh, I thought that were on there. That looked better, that didn't looked, it? That looked like we were on. That looked better to see a power wave. Yeah. I felt that were on. I didn't feel like it, it did me. Jacuzzi! Look at them. Oh, Jay lad. That were on that then. So we go. Good go. In a minute. Right, Good same again. But it's happening now. I mean, slowly. Yes. So it's not a, a one a chucky method. It's never going to be because they're massive. But as long as I feel I'm being efficient. It's one of them. I think it's similar to like what pellet waggler can be, where you have like um, spells on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? 15, 20 minute, half an hour spells where you can do like three or four but big fish. Yeah, they're massive, then aren't you they? you come off, rest it. Them ones we've actually caught yeah. are very diddy for here, aren't they? They're yeah. like the smaller stamp. I think it's all the big ones are all shallow. Big ones like, yeah, straight on it. They are. They? They're like three inches deep, all the big lads today. We can sink that line, bend it right in. Here we go. Nice. We'll say I'm not feeding over the top now. Yeah, at first it was worth a little bit of bait over the top on it just to make something happen yeah well you can see they've gone well it's obviously swimming over top but look how many are fizzing yeah they are fizzing now aren't they the better I need look at that beauties there the proper fizzing yeah boy yeah boy that's what we want isn't it that's what we want so it's nice another option to be that you're going to cover next in it is chucking a meth feeder over this yes and that's what we'll talk about now as well it, it's standing out yeah now i've got an eight mil on yeah i think that was just a wrapped up in it then not yeah a, um We've got an eight mil on to stand out among the six mils. See, the, the massive thing for me is that standout bait. Yeah. Yeah. Whether it's an eight mil, whether it's a double red, whether it's me expanders, whether it's a big lump of meat, anything other than what you're feeding, I think is the 99% so of the time the way yeah. to go, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it, it can be a bit different with lots of small fish in your peg. Yeah. If there's lots of little diddy carp and F1, then a six mil among six mils can be all right. What are you saying about colours as well, Jay? Do you think that makes a difference? Or anything it's can. Up there. It's one of them, isn't it? Anything. What do you think they do? Yeah anything that makes your bait they clock it yeah yeah so, uh, of course it could be that they clock it in a bad way and they go i'm not eating that because it's a luminous flipping orange yeah, yeah yeah but it's worth trying because on the day it can go in and it can go around yeah yeah but say keep it simple to start with eight mil over six mils six mil over four mils whatever just a bit of a standout to start with yeah so it's clear that again that's it really it's quick aren't again look how quick they've come up as well yeah if they could speak they'd be saying Feed me. They want to eat ridiculously, don't they? I think it doesn't help having a million carp and a lake to ourselves, does it? Uh, no. I said I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to feed over the top again. Do it, Jay. Mm. Force them down, mate. Force them down, lad. Let's see what they do. Let me watch. Look, none of them get to the bottom. Look no. at that. That's a joke. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can we not do a shallow one instead? Yeah. But the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Is it? Is it? No, it's no. on its back, isn't it, that? No, it's just round. But you can distinguish between the two really easy, can't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. It, you're not having any of them? No. Anymore? No. Which I'm happy about. See how fed and something happened. Yeah, definitely. Feed again. I think you just have to raft it and raft it and raft it, don't you? But it's, I don't like it when it's in a situation where you've got to feed that much bait to make them go down. Yeah. I want them grazing so they stay on the bottom. 
I mean, because it is so hot and horrible today, isn't it? They oh. do just want to go. Yeah. But it means that you have to feed too much to get a bite and it'd be quite hard. And you think that's obviously going to bring too many fish in your peg potentially, isn't it? Maybe, but I just think today you'd need to incorporate shallow and a bomb. I mean, we were hoping to come today with it being, what, nearly middle of September? I know, it'd be a bit cooler. And it being yeah. bomb fishing. Next week it'd be spot on. Today you'd need to fish shallow and on deck. No, 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 yeah. no, no, oh. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. <laughs> we just fish shallow, okay. mate. We just, you actually won, to be fair. <laughs> Look, isn't it? Yeah. You would just catch one up on shallow. It's just not going. But still fishing peg, but just not going. Yeah. But the, the liners I'm getting on fish shallow. Nothing like it were before with the longer up length either, Jay. You no. Getting any of them where they're taking it. Yeah. I don't feel like I've they been can't done do it all. on this, can they? No. You're on it, you are. Mm. Hopefully, if anything picks up now, it'll be in the mouth. It might just be my bait now. My bait's not standing out enough. I might whiz it in and put a big red one on or something. Mm. So and that's the beauty that of it, isn't it? You've got options all the time with feeding this way. I'm, I'm the same like method or hybrid. Constantly changing the update, seeing what they want. Yeah. It does make a difference. Mm, I'm, yeah. I don't feel it with method. Oh, we'll do that oh mate. Yeah. Stop it, Jay. Well, you know, it, you know how I feel about method yeah, feeders. Do, Accidental. That's how they eat it. Okay. Right, what are we going to put on? I'm going to go on my box of love. What should we put on? Should we put a big sinking boiler or a big white thing on? Or a big red thing? Should Get a big red thing on, mate. No, because I haven't got a bander. My bander fell in last week and I lost it. <laughs> We're going to put. Are they wafters or sinkers? I think they're wafters. I don't like wafters. Oh, 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 cheeky. They're sinking, but they're big round ones. What are we going to put on? We've got a lot of options. So what are we going to put on? A big red one. Go on, mate. Big red one. Big doozy one. Yeah, yeah boy. big one of them. That's what we're going to put on, just so it stands out among the lots. Let's see if we get one. Sticking with that. So, like, do you play around with ledger bomb much as well, Jay? You know, say you're on deeper venue, you put your heavier one on to get down there quicker, or I to just, to just again, go with. On the day. I, I've fannied about for years, haven't we? Let's say with this. I remember, like, when I first, like, well, I'm not going to say, mate, because it was like years and years ago, but when I first, like, got to know you proper. But that yeah. was years and years ago. That so I'm just waffling, that. folks. But I do remember you liked to. Uh, Olivettes. Inline Olivettes, didn't you? Yeah. Is, don't know. You're not on them anymore. The, the issue with the Olivettes is, let me just wait for that wind to, to chill out a bit, is that with an Olivette, there is zero self-hooking because they're too light. Right. I'd rather go down the self-hooking. It, it's different days, isn't it? It's different that, days that, and different venues. Is that Richard's influence as it's well? It's this yeah, Richard messes everything up, doesn't he? We think we've got something done. And See, he I gets thought involved. it was you, Jay, but it's him. He, he has quite a lot. He's behind the scenes quite a lot, isn't he? Confusing us. Right, big red one. Go ahead. See if anything stands out. Well, that's what it'll be. I'm learning this quite a bit at Woodlands as well. What in different? The, a standout or a big visible's bait's required. Because at this time, because they're in the bottom and because they're, it's silty. <laughs> it, oh, <laughs> they're on the bottom and there it's silty. It's a mess. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big cloudy, muddy mess on the bottom where they're feeding. So often they need a bait that they can just flip and find. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whether it's big and stinky or just big or whatever else, it just needs something for them to home in on. That's what a method feeder could be better. You know what I mean? If it's really, really stirred up, really messy. It's really home in on that. It's just a mm. bigger thing again for them to home in on, isn't it? But so for now, for the new. Oh, oh what? That one on, wasn't it? Inspired. That one. Yeah. But it's got a big old bait now. This is what bag I was on about footprint, just to confuse yourself. Yeah. What? Maybe I need an even Did I miss that up. bit? No, talk me through that because that'll do me head in again. In that maybe for that size of pellet, because that's what, a 13 Oh, with a pellet, bigger hook. Maybe a 12's a bit too small. Ah, but I get you. Yeah, yeah. We're all right, one more chuck. Yeah, I get you. The fizzing now, and we're not seeing any on the top now, so I'm happy. Yes. Move one again. See how aggressive you're being with that bait. Yeah? <laughs> Look at them feeding. It's just rafting that bait in. It's not. Pure, cool, mate. Sexy and subtle, is it? It's even my lead's like a skip going in. I love it. Oof. Oh, I love I'm swirling it. Swirling there, Oh, gee. Don't get polo. Look at them. Oh my god. We can't get a bite. Yeah. They're good. 28 degrees fishing up bottom. <laughs> <laughs> they should still go down, shouldn't they? They're still on the bottom. Yeah, because obviously at that depth of water. There's an odd fizz. It's a three and a half foot there. Four but foot. see how that came? That were a bite then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See so how it came so much faster? Yeah. Just because they're finding it. 
that's all it is, something that stands out. I should really swap. I've got my other Uckleve side up with a, a spike on. Oh, right, right okay. Yeah, yeah, Exactly the yeah. same as this set. Yeah. See how much faster again? You know what you're on about, you. So much faster, isn't it? Both of them, we got done on that first one. Yes. Definitely, I'm blaming the big pellet for that. Yeah. But that bike's came in 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stand out, find your bait, get a bite. Whereas now, folks, I'd still be on my 18-inch up length, like getting all these lines like, no, no, no. I'll no, get one in a minute. Not working, they're not going on the bottom. It's mad. No. These days, you have to, with, with all carp ledger in, for us, we have to have more of a um, specimen carpy angler mentality, don't we? Because we're crap at it. We are crap at, oh, we're not, our rigs are. Yes. We are as well. <laughs> we ought to be fair, mate. But, no. The rigs are wrong in so many situations. To be fair, stupid. yeah, I'll go as far as to say I probably wouldn't even dream of putting a pellet on that big, mate. Wouldn't you? That's done me head in that. Right, I think Boddington's... Every time I go out, you do me head in. Mm. Oh, Boddington, is that what... Boddington, well, you fish double at these, double one of these at Boddington. Really? Just a joke. Oh, man, it just stands out. Look yeah, at the size of the gobs. I oh, know, I oh, know, I oh, know. Yeah, an 11 mil or a 13 mil pellet is nothing to them. Double what? 11 mil, delete yeah. it. Daddy may often, like, you put a pellet on and mould paste around it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is they can fit it in the gob, they'll yeah. have it. Even your method feeder, they don't eat a little bit of it, they eat the pile. And he's a Whoa, big boy, he's and he's a portion, isn't, isn't he? Look at him. Yeah, boy. Hey, his mouth in relation to that. Yeah, see, that's why that's we don't nice need that, mate. many bites, do we? Look at that. Let's see, 10 pound. Yes. Beautiful, Jamie. Let me wrestle with him. So he's upright Beautiful. as well. But if, let me have a, have a look at him, Rich. If I put my pellet in relation to his mouth, Oh, are you giving him some more bait? I'm not going to choke him or nothing. I'm just showing. Look, it's nothing. I used to do that. Look at know? it. It's yeah, nothing. Nothing. You could eat like 12 on that. He'll eat three of them in one go. You know, used to do that when you were a kid. What, feed it extra yeah. pellets? I felt dead bad when the bait had come off. So it's I just used boy, to feed yeah. it more and then put it in my net. And then I'd feed him in the net as well. That's a Look nice portion. What's he, 10 pound? Yes. So it is. It feels, because we're match angry, impatient buggers. It feels dead slow. Yeah, but the reality but, is, yeah, what you've done there, so you've had two, four pounds, that's, that's 18 pounds in like, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 or 50 minutes. minutes. It ain't too bad, is it? So you're saying no. big on, big and again? You're not liking that, are you? You're frightened by that. It's, it's big, just summit, you know what I mean? It's a big owl pellet, isn't it? Hopefully, that is the way to go. So yes. It's been a little bit scatty. So I'm going to have to uh, tie all new hook them. So now, Jamie, thank you very much, yes. mate. So it is, that's what bomb fishing for me is all about. I mean, you've got three things that you can stand you out among everyone else. Yeah. In that you've got length of hook length, yeah. hook bait choice and yeah. feeding. Yeah, if you can dick about with all three of them in as many different combinations as you can to find what's right on the day. Yeah. That is what makes the difference between eight or 12 fish. Love it. Which when they're that big, 40 pound makes us win lots more beer tokens. Go ahead, Jay, lad. Yes, hopefully. Nice informative one with a bit of bob fishing. <laughs>